Okay, three, two, one. Hey guys, no bullshit here, and I'm joined with. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so weird introduction there, but yeah, Mr. Blue Pockets, Pocket Blue. I always get the order wrong. I'm sorry, man. Oh, it's all good. I don't even like. It's just like Mr. Pockets was a name I made up for like Mario Kart, and then <laughs> really, why Mario? Yeah, Kart? so like. Back in the Wii era, Mario Kart 7 Online was, like, the shit. And, like, Mr. Pockets was this little, like, avatar. And then I just loved the name so much, I made it into my YouTube channel. But Damn I just I, I just kind of go by, like, my name, like, Ken. But I like Mr. Pockets as a name. Yeah. The only reason I put blue was because some other dude had pockets. And I, I didn't want to be, like, confused. Oh, okay, okay, like, okay. But they're gone now. They're, like, off. I didn't, like... I don't see any of their shit anymore. Oh, did you? What, what did you do to them? Like, what did you do? <laughs> Got rid of them. <laughs> I had, I had, uh, I had the, you know, the guild go after him. Oh man! Well, you sent you, you sent him on hunt against um against the <laughs> off and you got hip chat to next week. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. I put that negative hip t- hip hip check plus ten in his fucking. <laughs> Snuck that into his slot. Nice, nice. Well, cool. I'm just, I'm just here in the chat. Um, hey, Duno, nice to see you, Jack, Yui, Gagnus. Hope you guys are doing all right. Yeah, hi, the Hitman. Yeah, the Hitman was plenty off. Hundred percent. Oh heck yeah. Hundred percent. No, well, but yeah. I'm. What's going? Might hear some ASMR keyboarding yeah. real quick. <laughs> Didn't know you're into that stuff, but um, bro, ASMR is weird. I can imagine. I can imagine. But we're almost here. We're almost here for sunbreak. It's just 17 more minutes. Oh, God. 17 more Yo, minutes. so you wanted to go in predictions? Like, what you think? Yeah, predictions. Big predictions. What? What is your... What's your top... Top prediction you think is going to happen today? Like, let's say, biggest thing that's... That would get people so hyped that you think is going to happen. Sergio. So and you, yeah, and you th- yeah, and it's you think that's something that's like legit, like it could definitely happen, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. It just depends on if we see bleed from like the Shogun Cinetar. Like if Shogun has bleed, then he's almost like, what the heck? You know what I mean? Like it's it's like super. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like super reasonable, I guess. Yeah, he kind of has to have bleed at this rate, right? Like I think we need mm-hmm. another. You know, we don't have bleed right now in in rise no. um which was interesting uh but yeah we, if if shogun had had bleed in the latest situations of him so serious and just had, had bring about bleed i think that makes a lot of sense yeah steve i really think steve has a chance like has a shot he's pretty popular yeah true 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 he is he is very popular okay you got you in the chat he's saying he wants gravios tetsukabra serious so same as you but he expects Valhanna, um, Gamoth, and Lagaikris. Oh, those are some good picks. What do you think about Tetsukabra? Yeah, Laggy? Tetsukabra? Yeah, yeah, what the fuck, Hojo? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I he's don't like, know. He's like riding one, but we can't fight one. I've, I've always said that's fucked up. Like, I love the Tetsukabra armor. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And the, lo- the great sword's awesome. Yeah, man. Mm. I, I really dig it. I really dig it. I, I don't Lange know. He would be awesome. Yeah, like kind of makes sense. <laughs> all of them, all of them would be would be great. Um, all of them would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Gravios. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, th- I, I kind of think Gravios is like a, a like I don't want him, but I think he's definitely in. Like, bro, I kind of fucking hate the Gravios. I'm not gonna lie. I know he's he's, he's lame. He, but Jiran Gravios, he he is actually a bitch. He'll fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll fuck you up. But I don't like him still. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I guess he's fine, but like, Jesus. Yeah, giant knife. Yeah, the, the great sword's a giant knife for Tetsukabra. It's just like a good ass great sword. So cool. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, for that's for, yeah, Tetsukabra. Yeah. One thing I do like about Gravius, though, his armor set in GU, he has some really good stuff for Lance. I really like that. So if they do bring it back, I, I would like it for that. You know, get some good Lance armor. Get some mm-hmm. new options. Um, 
one thing I'm wondering, do you think they're ever going to bring back... I mean, I don't know if they're going to bring this back for Sunbreak, but do you think we're going to see Alpha and Beta armor again? Or maybe not, I guess? I'm not sure what they're going to do. I can't imagine them not like doing something like X armor and stuff like that, but yeah. who knows? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I would um, like... I would like them I mean, to just go down like sorry. I would like them to go, go down the GU version where at least you mm-hmm. have you know, like you said, you have the X, you have the XR and stuff like that. Like that would be cool. That would be cool. So you have options of, of different armor sets, but the same monster. Yeah, I would love that too. I mean we're we're still crying for Apex armors, so Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not too sure what they're gonna do armor wise. I could see them doing like some like vanity stuff, like uh layered shit, but I don't know. I don't know. Man, it's it's so, like, I don't have faith in, like, a huge variety of armors just because of what we've seen. But, I mean, it's possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what we've seen so far. But, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I could see it. I could definitely see it. Yeah. I, I would like some variety. Um, yeah. Just so you can Same. mix your max um, a bit. Um, I mean, the, the old school games. They, I mean, the variety came in. What the XR and X is like you said, um, mm-hmm. and stuff like that, uh, and having a lot of monsters. But in I guess in world, what they did is the alpha, beta, and then gamma, which was pretty cool. Um, that was pretty cool. But even one, I yeah. think would be would be great. Yeah, I I would love that actually. I can see them doing something with like vanity shit, like uh, like layered. I don't know if they would necessarily want to like code like a ton of different, you know what I mean? Mm. Just even the way the armor skills work in this like fifth gen is kind of like, I don't know. You kind of don't really need that, that many armors, I guess, you know, I don't know. Maybe not. Cause skills, skills are a little bit easier to get a hold of. Yeah, true. But, so you can always kind of make it work. It's not like the old, mm-hmm. the old games where you specifically have an armor set for, you know, a style of play. It's much different now. Right. So, you probably so I right. guess they don't really... Yeah. Yeah, no, I never really thought about that before, actually. Yeah. I'm just kind of, like, thinking through it now. Well, what do you but, think... What do you think... Sorry, go, go for it. Yeah. No, well, I was going to ask, what do you think for, like, subspecies? Do you think we're going to get some new subspecies? 100%. 100%. <laughs> I mean, we saw we saw Bob, you know, Red. What's it called? Bishiton? Blood? Blood Orange? Bishiton? Bishiton? Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's it. People call him Bob now. Kind of like Steve, which is pretty cool. They call him Bob now? Yeah, yeah, they call him Bob. Oh, yeah. Blood Orange Bishiton. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. But I think I think if he comes back, well, yeah, he's coming back. And then I think if they add... He's not coming back. He's new, sorry. I think uh, we're going to see a Ghost of Ragwan. He's way too popular. Like and mm-hmm. I think he can do a lot, so that'd be cool. I would like to see one for Armadron. Um, I want to see him fuck up people in different ways now, messing people in different ways. Maybe like a a lava one, frozen and lava, mm-hmm. like a, a lava sloth. Mm-hmm. Uh, this would be interesting. People hate lava sloth already, anyway. Um, but yeah, I definitely think we're going to see subspecies, even some of the old monsters. Mm-hmm. I want to see a. Uh... Like Somacanth, I think it needs a subspecies. We were talking about this before, but like I think Somacanth needs a subspecies. Like it's just screaming for one. Hundred percent. We were talking right. about like it being like poison, but I also thought that like you know how it throws those things out of its head. Yeah. And like that could do bleed. Like so, bleed mixed with poison, it would be deadly. That would be great. That'd be great. Let me let me just read some of this chat. Um. So we got okay, go from for Jack. He's saying, "Wait, I'm curious to see if there will be actually um, be a variation of GU defense system within Sunbreak." I mean, I'm speculating that there's going to be something. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm hopeful. Um, the new um, Socia, especially it's it's it butchered Mizune's blood um, blade master armor. Oh, I'm not really sure. I think I think Socia is a good. Has good armor. I mean, the skills aren't too interesting. But we've got a good suggestion here. What do you think about a poison armor, John? What do you think about that? Oh. Huh. Because he has, like, the corrosion mud. Like, what if he has that poisonous mud and corrosion at the same time poisonous. or something like that? 
Whoa, that actually seems pretty cool. Come on, it would give us, it, oh, you could be like stuck in the poison and then I mean like stuck in the mud being poisoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, double man. the damage and you're just getting fucked like mad. That'd be insane. Yeah. Bro, he already like shoots that mud like halfway across the map. Yeah, I know. That guy is ridiculous. The interesting thing about him though is like he like Armadron like he's he's really annoying if you don't have this um so he gets countered quite easily, actually. Uh some of the stuff which i guess it, it could be it could be seen as a shame because i think you know it's, it's good actually it's good that you can have skills to like counter stuff but maybe in his way you can actually really counter him with that mud res so poison yeah, res that's like and mud res like that monster would probably do nothing <laughs> i mean i'm thinking about right. it but he, he's like the, like one of the few examples of utility skills like being effective you know yeah yeah exactly because I, I don't even think about like you know tremor or earplugs or anything like that but you know no 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 no, none of that but mud res yeah if i'm fine i'm i'm bringing mud res 100 <laughs> bro um, i forgot Amadron like existed i'm not even gonna lie to you damn i never i hate that monster <laughs> I, I hate fighting it yeah a lot of I people, like his people do but no i forgot that dude exists i'm not even gonna lie to you oh man but, like, a, a subspecies, that would be pretty cool. I'd love to see what they could do because, like, I wasn't the hugest, like, I'm not the biggest fan of him in general. Like, I don't know. I just don't care for his fight. I don't, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with his design or him. But, like, I just, well, I actually really like the design. I love the little whiskers and everything. But, like, I don't know. It's just not that memorable of a fight for me. But I would love to see a subspecies. I would love to see what they would do. I get that. Um, by the way, Yuri, I'm, I'm, I'm not bullying Lava Sloth. I actually like Lava Sloth. Um, surprisingly, for probably to some people, like in GU, I, f- I think he's a cool monster. I think he's a cool monster. I've never hated him, actually, to be honest. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm saying I'm like blasting on these monsters. I don't necess- I don't really hate any monster. I just like. I have opinions. I wish I, I wish I could say that, but there is one monster I don't. I I think I do hate, and that's that's um. What the fuck is his name? Fucking bitch, <laughs> b- bitch boy Andrina. Fuck that monster. Never want to. I don't like fighting him at all. He's just annoying. Like, he hits you. <laughs> it doesn't look like it should hit you anywhere because it's such a slow move, but then you start flying. Like, why does that hit me? All these moves are so slow, so sluggish, so sloppy. Like, it just looks That's like he shouldn't do anything to you, but he does. Like, I don't like him. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I can definitely see where you're coming from. Yeah. I don't have any strong opinions on, on that guy. Bro, but someone was talking about laggy. Like, I would love to see legit Chris like come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be that would be sick. That would be sick. They couldn't make it work for World or something. Like, I read something about like they wanted to bring him back or something for World, but they couldn't make it work. I don't know if that was even true. I I read something like that on Reddit. So grain of salt or like a massive mountain of salt. But if that's true, then like I don't I couldn't see why they couldn't make him work now. No, um, I believe it was true. Um, there was an issue with the Leviathan model, so they couldn't get it to work. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Really. Yeah. Um, the engine wasn't wasn't good for it apparently, so they couldn't get work get it to work. So they didn't. He wasn't in the game. None of the Leviathans are in the game, isn't it? Mhm. Yeah. Oh. Yo. Well, they fixed Leviathan shit pretty pretty well in this one, so. Yeah, that's what everyone's hoping that he'll, you know, he'll make a return in in Sunbreak. Yeah, I think I think he has a big uh, possibility. Yeah. Um. By the way, guys in the chat, how's the sound volume? Is it all good? Everyone, I'll be sounding fine to you. Let me know. Um. Let me see what else we got here. Imagine a variant for Magnamalo. Ooh, that would be cool. What do you think about that? Yeah, they need it. Magnamalo is just kind of like trash. Like. The demo Magnamalo was awesome, and then once he came out, he's just kind of like a punching bag. Yeah, like, yeah, I think we need to get. I think G rank one's gonna be awesome to fight, but he's just kind of like underwhelming in the full game. But yeah, a variant would be great. I think he's still. I think he's still tough in in high rank, but that's just me at least. Um, don't know about anyone yeah, else. Yeah, you know, it can get a little crazy, but for the most part, like, I think. I think a variant would be good for him. Yeah. Someone was talking about, I seen the chat, someone was talking about like a monster based off of like a bird of prey. Like, of uh, prey. oh yeah, yeah. 
I think that's a cool idea. I, I was just like casually reading. I think that's all. Like, I'd love to see a monster like that. Well, I guess the the ones we think about, I think like Valshox, right? Valshox is like a falcon. Um, mm-hmm. And then, yeah, like um, Jack says, he says Malfestio, which would be really cool. Yeah, Malfestio, 100%. Yeah. I would love to see Malfestio. And it, the Sefi Jiva MMO raid trash. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree with you with that shit. Damn, bro. The, yeah. like, the, like, damage checks or whatever i was like what i don't know yeah i definitely agree with that but i know the the thing is they added a lot of those ideas in world and i think a lot of new players kind of like resonate with them but a lot of old players are like what are you doing like this is an Mm -hmm. mmo like you know safi jiva like you said and then we got kao toov like like the fight's okay the fight's all right like i think it's it's cool but like this, the reward systems and 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 the checks, like you said, it's kind of lame. Like, why mm-hmm. am I? Like, and it's it's cool as an idea, but like you know, I don't think it's 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 cool. Like for I think they were going for like a games as a service model with like World and Iceborne. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That, that's that's pretty much what it is, especially right? Especially with the rotating like roster of quests and stuff, which I always hated, but yeah. Yeah, like I'd have to wait for a Tuesday to fight this one monster. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it worked out for them. Their, their experimentation worked out. Like, world was a huge success. True, true. I don't think that and was. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't think that was due to the experimentation, though. I wouldn't say that was a result of that. I think world success comes from marketing, um, the way that they presented the game graphically. And mm-hmm. and I think it mostly comes to that, because I don't think it has yeah, uh, much about you know those systems in particular. Okay. Yeah, like what was the last like good looking monster Hunter game before oh. World? You know what I mean? Like yeah, graphic wise, it was for you. Yeah, there's, right. there's 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 been a lot of people who wanted to play Monster Hunter. They just didn't want to play on a for you. <laughs> so right, not for you. Sorry, a 3ds. Sorry, 3ds. So yeah, 3DS. yeah. So um. They marketed it well. They they released it on on mobile platforms and yeah yeah yeah. It had it had really good graphics. So it's it's eye pleasing, right? People like to see pretty things, so they come and play. Um, I knew a lot of friends, friends, uh, yeah, I got I guess colleagues and people I knew who who played the game and didn't get past no Gante and stopped playing. Like a lot of new players, like you know, they can find it hard. They can find new, playing once in a hard some of the new players. So mm-hmm. oh quite yeah. Interesting. Well, we got two minutes left, and this this thing still isn't allowing me to to start looking at it. What's going on? It's it it's gonna take a minute. Capcom's weird, man. Yeah, you should like people like Nintendo. They already start the video beforehand, and then you can just yeah. Jump in. And then they got the little counter or whatever. But then like Capcom likes to start it, and then we'll have like that ten second counter and like wait. And then we'll see one of those motherfuckers' faces and. It'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna also record this as well, stream. So I just have it recorded too. Dude, I'm excited to see though. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So. I want to see what craziness happens. Like, what, what are they gonna show off? Okay, so top three prediction before we start. What's your top three? Oh God. Um, Seregios. Um. I have no idea. New character. And then maybe new map, I'm thinking. Okay, okay. You stole you stole one of mine. I was thinking new map as well. Mm-hmm. Um new map, specifically a lava one or mm-hmm. some type of um desert one, which is what I'm gonna say. Ooh. Uh I'm gonna say wait, it should start now. Why is it not starting? What's going on? Oh, here we go. Funny. Yeah, mine wow, wasn't cool. starting either. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. We got a minute. We got a minute until until See, it's actually. I like, told you that's how they do it. Yeah, you're they right. Like, that's exactly how they always do it. They leave it. I think it is. Oh, it is. Is yeah, it yeah. preset? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I've seen this preset before. I know the song is like the preset, the one that Nintendo uses all the time. Yeah, countdown. but this one looks a bit new, doesn't it? Mm. Oh well. Yeah, I haven't seen this one in the options. Ten seconds. Oh, okay. This is this is exciting. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I, I can see people in the Monster Hunter chat just gore, gore, gore. <laughs> gore Magala. Everyone was Gore Magala. I don't think Gore is coming back. Watch as soon as you say it, it <laughs> shows up. But the first monster, the Gore is back! <laughs> Everyone, I'm Yozo Tsujimoto, oh producer oh Lord. of the Monster Hunter series. And I'm Yoshitake Suzuki, oh, the up, director of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Have to take off God, I love this Let's dude. Let's have a look at the yeah. new trailer. Enjoy! New trailer, ooh, ooh! Lag laggy, laggy, let's yeah. go. Yo, Kazuki. Oh, okay, okay. Quiet, okay, I'm gonna be quiet. These, These creatures... Consume life. We got a wipe. New mm -hmm. character. Damn. I got it right off the bat. We'll be whisked away by a swift game, the embodiment of darkness. As they are slowly drained of their life. The darkness will Ooh. show itself. Basking in the night. Oh, my son. Wait. This is helping us fight. What? adversary indeed. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry to keep you waiting. We must bring peace back to Kumura and the kingdom. <laughs> Wait, Sujo Oh! Oh, you caught it! <laughs> he caught it! Oh my god! That's awesome. Let's go! Fucking, I, I, I'm just sitting in shock. Bro! Oh. Ooh! You caught it again? Ooh. You caught it again? But ice? Oh my god! Yeah! So I can. Yeah. Oh, yeah! I caught this one! <laughs> I caught this one! <laughs> yeah! Oh yes. my god! Yes! What the fuck? Switch skill swap. Bracky deals. Wait, what? Bracky. Your yeah, Bracky. Yo, is that the Bracky sword? It looks like fuck? it. Hold on. Is that Bracky deals? Son, what the hell is going on? Yeah, <laughs> so much is going on. Dude, what is, what is this anime weebu shit? Come yeah, on. I, I don't know. I don't know. What is this? Is that Bracky? Oh, I'm sorry. It looked like Bracky. Like, I'm tripping. It looked like Bracky. Bro. <laughs> Oh, they can. It's the Regios. Uh oh, uh oh. They can come hunting. What the fuck? Yo! Yo, what? So, Seregios. Okay. Hunter Rise Sunbreak is a massive I saw McCanth. I did not see that one coming. I'm not gonna lie. I did see some McCanth getting something cool, but Ice? Okay. Yeah. A new story will unfold Bro. at a new base with new locales, monsters, actions, and the addition of the Master Rank, allowing you to delve even further into the world of Monster Hunter Rise. Now I'll pass the baton to Mr. Suzuki to tell you more about oh, yeah. the trailer you just saw. Thank you. Let's have a look at the footage again, and I'll provide some extra info as we go along. So no go. Do it just instead. Who Steve, dude? Let's I knew it when, bro. When I saw Shogun, first off, we have like Sir knew Regius, it. The flagship monster of Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Seregios <sighs> is characterized by the sharp blades yes. on his legs, which he uses to attack enemies by diving. Down I'm saying that means no goal. Sky. Yeah, probably. It also sheds sharp scales called blade scales. Bro, I was just in shock. I was like, what am I watching? When it, when it was playing? Yeah. You were like, you called it. I'm like, what did I call it? And I'm like, because I'm looking at it and I, I wasn't registering that Seregios is right there. Look bleeding. Extreme caution is in that. Damn. He looks good. Next, mm -hmm. let's have a look at two new Hell yeah, of dude. Monsters Seregios. In Rise. First, we have Aurora Somnicamp. Aurora Somnicamp, let's go. It releases a perpetual cold air to freeze things around That's it. That's cool, man. And even slide around on the ice to attack hunters. The normal species attack with a sleep-inducing powder, but this subspecies cool. exhales a powerful ice breath. 
Next up, there's magma <laughs> I knew it was going to be lava of magma. I just knew it. It lives in the lava caverns, and when it digs into the ground, it adopts a red hue, indicating that it's in a special heated state. I mean, it, it makes sense, right? It also uses the magma on its yeah. tail to attack its prey. Holy crap. We've also added new actions Bro, you fucking hunter, called it though. I didn't even well think about it though. Master rank I honestly forgot monsters that monster that existed. <laughs> For instance, Aknasom now has a backstep and like, keeps a master rank to give it like even more combo potential. And T-Rex can now combo from a bite yeah, we know that. into we a know spin that. attack. If you thought you were already used to fighting these monsters in Rise, there That's are cool. quite a few surprises. But uh, every time they keep saying master rank, my hand like they're about to say master race, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> well, monster is master race. That's what that's what it is. Monster for this game. The monster race. In today's trailer, Malzino. Yeah, they showed some cool Malzino shit for uh, the flagship. Is a elder dragon who has brought Malzino? the kingdom to the brink of ruin many times in the past. Those little like bugs. mysterious creatures mm. that it uses to Butterfly capture monsters things. and absorb their energy. It displays both a certain sense of beauty and elegance. As well as vicious cruelty. Yo! Yo! It fights hunters with a variety of attacks, so it's incredibly dangerous. Some of its attacks will cause the blood blight status as well. Blood blight. If a hunter succumbs to blood blight, they enter a battle of life force with Malzino, which they must overcome to survive. It's said that if Malzino manages to absorb a hunter's life force, Whoa. it evolves what? into an even more powerful form. Oh my god. It's very risky, but definitely worth seeing with your own eyes. Malzino's design was based first and foremost on a vampire motif. It being an elder dragon, we had to figure out what kind of calamity it would cause. And the designers incorporated elements of aristocracy, nobility, grandeur, cool. and cunningness into their concept arts. Based on that art, we hammered out further details, which resulted in the current design. The elements I just mentioned are woven into its theme music as well. The composer managed to turn it into a really cool song. Yeah, I'm so loving the song. Give it a listen in the game. Mm -hmm. All right, time to go. I'm proud to join you on your quest. Now let's talk about followers. Followers, okay. In Sunbreak, some quests oh, this is like fun too. story characters known as followers along with you to hunt together. Yo! So, is These follower quests are single player only. So we hope you'll have fun running around the locales with your favorite characters. Okay. I'm really digging that. Each follower has their own weapon specialization. <laughs> the commander has a nice gray sword. They recover your health, place traps, and sometimes <laughs> even ride monsters. So they're very useful to bring along. You'll gradually unlock more characters to pick from as you advance in the game. For the characters from Elgato, okay. you'll be able to take Fiorain, Luchika, Jay, Admiral Gallius, and Master Arlo with you. As for Kamura, you'll be able to bring along several characters in addition to Hinoa and Minoto, who already made their appearance. Everyone's going to be loving that. These colorful One characters of are sure to make your hunts mm -hmm. even more fun. And you can even earn exclusive rewards, so make sure you try them out. Oh yeah, everyone's bonk bonk horny for those two. Damn straight. Now, Including me. Let's <coughs> move on to the new player <laughs> actions. Rise introduced various new gameplay elements, like the wire bug and wyvern riding. Player action. Sunbreak will expand on these elements even further, with more features and tweaks. Let's have a look at the new switch skill swap function first. Hey, what is this? Switch skill swap? This game adds a variety of new switch skills, including new silk bind attacks. You'll now be able to swap between hmm. different sets of switch skills on the fly using the new switch skill swap function. What? I don't think that's Broccoli Dias' long sword, by the way. You can register two loadouts Ooh. in advance, so you can use two sets of switch skills during your quests. This lets you combo Yo, silk bind attacks cool, and gain their synergized effects. 
Swapping sets at the right moment and making the most out of every situation allows more freedom and creativity in your playstyle. Yo! That's wild. Now let's say you need to avoid a monster attack or distance yourself from a monster That's... while swapping Dude, Sakura Slash That's with Helmbreaker is going to be fucking insane. In. Swap a swap lets you quickly change your position while swapping What sets. the fuck am I looking at? A death style. <laughs> a death style. Will give you Pretty much, huh? Freedom when moving around the battlefield. We've also added a wide variety of tweaks. What? For instance, you can now go into a wall run without using a wire dash first. And you can pick whether yeah, we to ride a monster tweaks. or keep attacking it when it's in a mountable state. Yep. As I there said. Various options to change the original controls. Why well, is up in the boys? There's even more new tweaks like that, but we'll tell you more about that at a later date. We plan to release introduction videos for the new Silkbind attacks and switch skills for all 14 weapons according to the schedule shown on screen. We hope you look forward to how these new Silkbind attacks and the switch skill swap are going to change the action yeah, it's in not, Sunbreak. Yeah, it's not Bracky's sword. I just got like excited because it was green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's um, Luna Astra. Luna Gone. Yeah. Sure. It looks cool as fuck. Mm-hmm. That layered armor. Make sure to follow the really official cool Twitter me, account whatever. so you don't miss out. That's all we have to share regarding the new gameplay elements today. Hope you enjoyed it. That was pretty cool. That was really cool, actually. No, I'm I'm so now, stoked about the switch. The product information skill swap thing. Mm-hmm. If you already own the Product physical information. version or the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise and you just want to buy Monster Hunter oh, Rise they're just Sunbreak, gonna explain. all you'll okay. need is the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. For the digital version, we are also offering the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Deluxe Edition, which includes add-on content. There will also be a Monster Hunter Rise plus Sunbreak set, including both the main game and the expansion, for players who want to start Monster Hunter Rise from the beginning. I think that's going to be pretty popular. The uh, Rise plus Sunbreak, I think there's people who are waiting for it, you know? Yeah, yeah, bonuses. for sure. So grab them in. while you can. The exclusive bonuses are layered armor for your Palico yeah, and Palamute. That pre-order so I can get those fucking... That Palico and Make Palamute sure to armor. pre-order the game this so you nice. don't miss out. I'm trying to get the amiibo. Yeah. We will also be releasing three new amiibo. <laughs> Good Monster fucking luck. That thing's gonna be scalped to hell. Yeah, I got the Mal Magnum Mal Mal one though. Each of these but let's see if I can get this. Special layered armor. In the UK, it's not scalped as much, so it's quite good over here. Oh, damn, dude. Here, you can't get anything. You can't get fucking milk without it getting scalped. That Pro Controller looks sick, though. But I've been using a PS4 controller, so I'm not worried about it. Oh, man. All of this product information is also available on the official website. I'm not gonna lie. Hell yeah. The digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is now available for pre-order. We hope you check it out. If you have saved data of Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, you will be able to unlock the Navarro <sighs> costume layered armor oh, here, here we go. in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Nabiru's back, hell yeah. Of course, you'll also be able to use the Rider Series Hunter layered armor and the Tsukino costume that are unlockable in Monster Hunter Rise. Nabiru back, hell yeah. All about it. That's all of the news for now. To reiterate, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released worldwide on June 30th, 2022. That was good. Mm-hmm. We will also be releasing several free title updates after that. We'll have more to share with you on the free updates and other new info around June. So there's a lot to look forward to. Thank you for tuning in to today's special Monster Hunter Rise Sunday. I kind of want to know more still, but... 
I shouldn't. Yeah, like it wasn't, it wasn't like as much as I thought it was gonna be, but it was way better than I thought it was gonna be. If that makes sense. Yeah, in in in, in uh, quality, mm -hmm. not quality wise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like this though. Keep it close to the chest, man. Yeah, yeah. That that's one thing we're too used to in the West to just be to want to see everything at once. I want to see. I hate it, but like I love it at the same time. Yeah, same, same. I hate the fact that I want it, <laughs> if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. But it's good. No, I have food. It's good to Bro. keep some secrets. It was good. I remember when Rise yeah, came yeah. out, people were, uh, what's it called? Uh, like yeah, they were disappointed that they revealed everything before the game came out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, there wasn't any secret monsters or anything like that. So. Uh, there's like one guy in the monster chat just spamming L. Damn. What the fuck's an L? Like, what's the lo What's the L? Dude, this one guy. I don't know. Hold up. What's the L, dude? This is legit. This was some good. Maybe he was like a Gore fan. He was like, where's Gore Magala? I gotta find this guy. Hold up. I gotta look at... Nah, okay. I'm not gonna... I wanted to look at his fucking... What to see if he's got gold over, over his, his page. <laughs> yeah. Damn. What's the L, though? That was good. That was legit. Yes. Oh, there's a few people seeing L now. I don't... Okay. Know. My center fans are weird. Yeah, I, I think I think. I mean, I know I am one, so I'm fucking weird. But yeah, that was nice. That was good, man. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. I think people are I'm expecting a, a demo as well. They haven't said anything about a demo yet. Mm. Maybe that's why people are saying L the demo. Yeah, yeah. What do we want a demo? Like, I just want it to come out. It's like a month from now. Yeah, true. Maybe they want to test out the new stuff uh, beforehand. Oh yeah, I'd love to test out that buddy system. What was it called? Followers. Yeah, yeah, followers. I wonder. I wonder how in depth that will be. They said. I, I think it's really right. cool. I'm actually quite excited oh, about that. And like the like specific follower like um, quests. I think that's cool to like pad out the like single player. Yeah, yeah. Not for sure. Mozano looks crazy. I want. I want to see more about him. Dude, you know what? Way. I was kind of nervous that he was gonna be like a pushover, but he looks pretty good, like yeah. in the, like in the material. Play yeah. it through again. Play, play, uh, play a, a couple of clips. We can talk about it for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going through right now, just um, with no sound. Just going through little parts, trying to see. Yeah, Sergio looks nice. That's legit, man. Yeah, Sergio looks nice. I like Sergio. He's looking good. Yeah, Steve looks awesome, man. What the fuck? Yeah. I literally was, didn't know what it was like. You were like, you called it. I was like, didn't know what I was looking at. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, what? And then fucking Sergio. No, nah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, we got you in the chat saying Repugnactor. This is probably that's true because... Alma John, um, Ignactor, I don't know, both of them, I don't know, could it, could we still see Ignactor? Do you think we could still see Ignactor? Maybe, but it's looking less and less likely, mm. if I were to be honest. I don't know how many monsters they're going to cap it off at. Like, I, I th I'm pretty sure it's Rip, like, Great Jaggy. Yeah. Like, Rip, in, like, maybe even Zamtrios, which kind of sucks, because I would love to see Zamtrios, but, bro. We got Steve. I'm I'm pretty fucking like hyped. No, Steve. Steve is definitely cool. Steve is definitely cool. I was a hundred percent convinced they were gonna bring back like those, like the baby monsters that are just chilling around, like their bigger forms. I was like totally convinced, but now I'm not too sure. Well, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see what what more they have to show. Uh, cause I still mm. think it's possible. I definitely still think it's possible. Cause I would love to see Zamtrios. Yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah, it's, it's been a minute. It's, well, since GU, I guess. But um, yeah. Yeah, but like, a lot of people didn't play GU or like, you know what I mean? We have a lot of newer fans. Yeah, true, true, true. So just getting getting him back, getting some of the old ones back. I mean, we've got Sirius, which is cool, but no laggy yet, which I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> I would love Laggy. I don't, I don't know if Laggy's coming. That's the only thing. I don't know. Bro, I think if, if Laggy did come back, it wouldn't be, like, right away. I think that's one of those ones they would, like, a month after the DLC. Yeah. You know what I mean? It'd be, like, drop that shit. But Yeah, because he's super popular, right? Super requested. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, true. I think when it when it's like kind of like slacking, they'll drop it and it'll be something crazy. No, oh, hundred percent. Switch swap. Switch switch go swap. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm like I, I don't even know how to feel about that, but I, I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be super fun. I'm wondering how, how easy it will be and how like we're gonna see some crazy people do some crazy stuff, like crazy cool stuff. Yeah, dude, like just off the top of my head I was like soccer slash like into fucking uh Helm- like Helmbreaker is Helm- gonna be yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cause he does it in the in the trailer. Yeah, you're showing it. He does it in the trailer. He does soccer slash, gets red bar, and then goes straight into like, Helmbreaker. I'm like, yo, what? Yeah, yeah. Nah, that, damn man, damn that is, that is some cool stuff. That is some cool stuff. And then, like you said, Valor style, pretty much <laughs> the fucking switch swap, evade or whatever it was called. Like, what? yeah, yeah. I think it's it's more like adept style, but not for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, adept. Style. adept. Yeah, depth dodge, bro. Did did you see like what? Uh, there's like a lot of skills, huh? Yeah, there's loads. Like when you when we went to hold on, let me uh. I don't, I don't, he goes to the skill swap. That's at like. Yeah, I'm just there. Uh, Five fifty eight. Yeah, you got red swap scroll, blue swap scroll. Yeah, and then special. Sheath combo? What's the, oh, that's just the normal shit. Yeah. There's going to be more then. What do you think they're going to do? Like, you think there's going to be more? Do you think there's going to be like a lot of switch skills? Um. Because mm. we know we're getting new ones, but do you think there's going to be like a ton or is it going to be? Like, how deep are they going to go with the switch skill stuff, you know? I think they'll double, at least double the amount they have now. Like, for each weapon. I don't know mm-hmm. how much more they'll go, go above that. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's looking pretty promising. Yeah, no, it's, it's looking good. We just have to see... I, I, I think... Um, I think, and I don't know if they will show this, but the things that I think people need to see to, like, quench their... You know, just some people might, who might have had some concerns with base rise. They need, they need to see end game. They need to see some end game stuff. Like, you can't really just show end game stuff though. That doesn't make sense. You don't, you don't do that. Um, but you, mm-hmm. they need, they need to see like, I guess, maybe some changes to like, um, to weapon trees, maybe armor, um, trees as well. Um, you know, um. Crest variety as well, uh, events as well. Like they need to see some of that stuff, like how that's gonna work. And I think those people who are like just a bit, a bit worried are they're gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna be pretty fine. I think we're once it comes out though, it'll be fine. We'll be able to look. I don't know if they're gonna like go too in depth with all that. That's kind of something like you're just gonna have to play the game or like wait for your favorite YouTuber to like <laughs> explain it. You know, yeah, like go into. The, I don't know if they're going to, like, because they, they often like to go straight into, like, because they'll do, like, the weapon stuff, like they said. They're going to do, like, the weapon stuff, but they don't really go too in-depth in, like, the trees. They might, like, show a little bit of it, but I don't think, I don't know. I don't think that's something Capcom's just going to dive super deep into. Yeah, yeah, probably not. Probably not. But I think, like, this is looking good. I don't know. The Switch, I'm still stuck on this, like, Switch swap thing. Do you think... Do you think this is going to make people say, like, now the game's more, like, easy, like, even easier? Like, is it going to be OP or what? It depends how they balance um, the cooldown on some of those switch goals and how they balance the damage. It depends on that, really. Like, they might, they might say that, but we won't know for a fact in, unless we see the balance. They said there's going to be tweaks to some of the yeah. balancing, so that's something we have to wait and see for. They probably got nerfed the fuck out of us. I'm I'm at, I'm about it though. Like, yo, that fucking dragon, that thing where you have to fight it for your HP. That's cool as fuck. Yeah. Blood blight. Yeah. Yeah, blood blight. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then when he eats a hunter, he goes rage mode. Yeah, <laughs> like, I want to see that some super rage mode. I want to see that. Uh, let me just. Dude, I'm the... not gonna lie. So I was, I was gonna read actually... from the chat just quickly. 
Um, you were just saying, yeah, the summer camp, yeah. some species looks really cool. Um, Aurora summer camp, I'm liking that. I'm liking Sick. that. Yeah. Yeah, um, Barry, like I was saying, yeah, Riven Riding is optional, which is what I was expecting. Which is a big, which is a big boon uh, for people who don't like it. Oh, yeah, they didn't confirm that. They didn't confirm it till just now. Yeah, yeah. Before it was speculation, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, now, yeah, now it's confirmed. Um, yeah, it was. It was very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they confirmed that completely, which I'm about it. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. I'm, I'm like more excited. It's like frenzy. Yeah, there might be some type of fr frenzy mechanic with Malzeno, but I guess we we'll have to wait and see. But it looks like frenzy. Yeah, true. Like when when you see it, it looked like frenzy. Yeah, yeah. Well, didn't isn't frenzy would like cause the apexes and four ultimate? Uh, yeah, 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 it did actually, yeah. So maybe like I don't know, maybe Malzino is like causing the apex. I don't know. You don't really have to tie it like lore wise, but I'm just saying like maybe in my head. No, I think canon here. I think they said it was like Ibushi and Nama. Oh yeah, yeah, that. you're right. You're right. Yeah, I think it was Ibushi specifically. Yeah. Oh wait, no, weren't they just like making the 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 raids or whatever? That's what I thought, but apparently someone also said it was both? both, which I don't remember hearing that, but maybe it's true. Oh, maybe they're fucking liars. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe so, maybe so. I'll, I'll need to look into it one time. Yeah. Cool. Um, People say some shit. Yeah. No, you're right. Cool. So I I, um, I need to wrap up soon because I need to go back to work. But yeah. out, of, out of ten, what what would you rate that? Seven, eight, solid. Yeah, I, I would I would say an eight. I would say an eight. Um. Yeah, I would say eight. If if they showed laggy, because I'm I've, but to be honest, I've I've already got all the month. I've already got like. They only brought back Valstrax and like there's no other like top top ones I want apart from Laggy now. Mm -hmm. So I I think you know if they brought both that would pretty much be it for me. So I think I think an eight I'll get that an eight out of ten. I think I think it was it was really good. Um, quality wise it was definitely good. Quantity wise maybe not as much as some people want. Yeah, but they're gonna they're, they're just wrapping up. Um, what's good? They're just ramping up. Um, Mm -hmm. the marketing hype. yeah the hype like they were saying but we're going to start getting videos on switch goals next week i think on the 16th they said and yeah we're mm -hmm. going to be in those we should be watch out for those because last time when they did those they actually showed new monsters at the same time which is really cool um maybe they'll show like great jagging shit during those yeah yeah <laughs> yeah probably would because he's like a monster that you know they're showing in the background because he's not like anything he's not crazy he's just like a monster that people want because of memes <laughs> but, maybe they'll like They'll, they'll, uh, that little fucking goblin monster, whatever, like the large version of him. You True. know what I'm talking about? Those little, like, the hyenas, the yeah. hyena, what are they called? Um, gobbies, yeah, gobbies, Baggies? gobbies, Something. I think. I have no fucking idea. Um, because if, if you include him, right now we have, uh, eight new monsters, no, seven new monsters. If, no, eight, no, eight is eight. You have eight new monsters if you include him, which we haven't seen yet. Um, so there's still at least a minimum there's going to be a, um, I say 20 new monsters 25 more new monsters at minimum maximum probably like 30 so yeah yeah 100% cool okay that's that's good Yui Yui you were saying it's 10 out of 10 for monsters great yeah he got he got what he wanted yeah I mean Rosanna does look amazing I'll probably give it 8.5 actually 8.5 you know I, I still yeah, want to it's not lower than eight because Sergio. yeah honestly i still want to see like um some stuff about like hyper monsters or something like that but i don't know if that stuff you see marketing or that stuff that you see in the, in the actual game um i'm actually not yeah, sure it's like in game shit yeah yeah we don't need to see everything outside of games but i'm not i'm just so mm -hmm. used to, i'm just so used to that i need to like change that in my mind all right cool well that, that's it for me guys um uh, thanks for coming along uh mr pockets um mr pocket Heck yeah since since the blue part is random, I might as well start calling you Mr. Pocket Red or Mr. Pocket Rainbow. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Pocket Rainbow. That's like up. my ultra form. Yeah, for sure. Damn straight. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, leave comments down below. You know, follow uh, Mr. Pocket. Um, he's on Twitter. He's on Twitch. He's on YouTube. Um, you know, we do podcast together as well. So you know, catch him out there. The um, links will be in the. Let me just get your link right now. Um, I just post paste it in in the comments uh, right now so people can have a look um but yeah um definitely look at his his channel guys he does some really cool stuff um 
Wait, why is my typing not working? Okay, there we go. Here's some really <laughs> cool stuff when it comes to Monster Hunter Lore. Um, and recently some random videos about Pokemon is evil, which was... um. Yeah, go check that out. Y yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, links in the, in the chat, guys. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. All right, cool. We're done.